Alex in the band. David quit for two weeks, and uh, and then he came back, and we started writing, and like it was, we gelled, but there was definitely, you know, one guy in the band who was pulling this way, and the three of us were kind of pulling this way, and you know, we tried to meet somewhere in the middle, and. Uh, it's like the one record where it kind of like, you know, meeting in the middle wasn't good. <laughs> we, uh, you know, I mean, there's some definitely some rocking songs and some songs that we play. And I'll tell you right now, there's fucking people that will definitely slam that record. But every night we play songs off that record and fucking people lose their minds. They go fucking bananas harder than plenty of other songs in the set list. So, you know, there's some good stuff on there. I can definitely say that there's some songs on there that they suck. You know, a couple of a couple of stinkers, but you know, I've written like 90 songs in my life at this point, you know. And if I got five or six stinkers in there, or even 10 or 20 stinkers in there, I'm cool with that. <laughs> you know, like it's, you're always going to have a couple of stinkers. There's some really strong songs on there. And for, for, for me personally, that was like the first time that I really felt like as a songwriter, I was able to kind of simplify things like streamline song ideas and really, and, and more importantly, like streamline lyrical ideas. You know, I kind of felt like, you know, my lyrics were a little all over the place up until that point. And, you know, on a couple songs in particular, like Only the Names or Blank Generation, you know, Only the Names in particular, where it was like a storytelling song, you know, something that I had that I had never really done, you know, telling a story about, you know, when I used to smoke crank on aluminum foil. <laughs> but I was telling it from, like, the drug side, you know, and, like, how the drug was talking to me and... And, uh, you know, just to be able to tell that and yet not have it be this kind of clunky, very literal, you know, still have some poetic uh, prose to it, you know, like that was something that I really feel I was able to refine on that album. So for, from a songwriting perspective, that was a pretty big uh, record for me on a personal level. I'm back.